Now it might look like all I'm doing is just playing soft, but actually the stroke that I'm playing is called the tap stroke. Now the tap stroke is so simple to, to look at that a lot of people don't even explain it because it, it looks so simple to play. Just play soft. But actually there's a little bit more that goes into it, so I want to make sure that I explain the tap stroke to you so that you can play great sounding tap strokes. Let's recap some of the other strokes first. We have the rebound stroke that starts high ends high. We have the downstroke that starts high and ends low. Both of those strokes are loud because of their starting position. Then we have the upstroke that starts low and ends high. The tap stroke is basically the same as the upstroke except for I'm starting low and ending low. Basically, the tap stroke is produced not just by dropping the stick, and this is where a lot of people get it wrong, is they just think of just dropping the stick and playing a really soft note. Actually, what the tap stroke is, is a quick motion down and up of the wrist. What you have to do is learn how to control with a very relaxed wrist motion, soft notes or notes at a three inch height. Now what I like to have my students do is go back to lesson one and practice each of those stick control exercises using taps. What that's going to force you to do is control with the wrist because there's no way using a really relaxed finesse grip which we'll talk about later there's no way that you're going to be able to play consistent sounding taps. So that will work on the tap stroke. Another exercise that I like to introduce at this point is an exercise that I call Mr. Freeze. And Mr. Freeze basically takes a down stroke, four taps, followed by an up stroke. So basically it's taking that up down uh, exercise that we worked on before but adding taps to it. So down, four taps, and an up. One, one, two, three, four, up, down, tap, 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 up, down, tap, 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 up. Notice that the upstroke and the taps all sound the same. Loud stroke for the downstroke. upstroke and taps at three inches. So add that to your daily practice routine for at least 30 seconds on the right and 30 seconds on the left. Next, we're going to add the tap stroke to the single paradiddle to finish that rudiment. <laughs> 